Hello everybody, my name is Nico, I'm the founder of Neural Frames and today I would like to show you how to make a video with Neural Frames. We have five different standard models to choose from and we also have the feature to have custom models which I trained with um, custom images and today I would like to take a model of myself um, we can say to, to, to show the object that you trained your model on, you can say SKS person or SKS object or something like this. It should always be SKS is the term that, that um, tells the AI this is now the object that I showed you that, that I trained you on. SKS person, like a hippie, um, psychedelic, symmetry, fractal, it's colorful beautiful digital art something like that i don't know some some terms when you, you when you play with this a bit with this platform and maybe also look on uh, lexica and prompt hero you you get a feeling for what is needed uh, this doesn't really work um let's say i don't know maybe we need to put a portrait or something there right okay this looks better nice okay cool i like this one actually this looks kind of like me without the glasses okay now we're in the video editor the video editor is the the core area uh, of newer frames um, down below here we have the timeline in the timeline you have these boxes that um, represent inputs to the neural network in this case this is a prompt input with this particular prompt and these type of settings here um, the settings descriptions are all in the, in the tooltips here. Um, now we can render this particular prompt for, for two seconds and then we can put another prompt by double clicking and we can say like a hippie, um, very sad, crying, tears, colorful, trippy, digital art, okay. Um, I would like to take the zoom away in this in this example. Um, strength is an important parameter um, that we leave untouched for now. The smooth I will increase a little bit, but the smooth six is also fine. And now we can render. Um, the strength is a parameter for how much the neural network will make a new image out of the old image. So if you have a high value, the images will very drastically change over time. Uh, if you have a low value, it will be more smooth over time. Um, both have their advantages. High, high strength means if you have a new prompt and you want to change something, uh, sometimes you need a high strength. Um, a low strength will look smoother, but also over time, maybe the images will deteriorate a little bit. Um, we have this nice prompt fade here, which, which interpolates from one prompt to the next. So the transition between two prompts will always be somewhat smooth. This is a very unique neural frames feature. And I hope that um, you guys like it as much as the, the other customers. Um, yeah, we see, we see Nico being very sad here, becoming very sad. And you know what? Maybe Maybe we don't want him to be sad, actually. Maybe we want him to be happy. Now we have two options. So let's say we like this until here, but then he became so sad and that's this we didn't like so much. So now we can remove the box here and put a new one, but we can also just change this box, okay? And now I, I will not say like a hippie very sad crying tears, but I would say like a hippie laughing hysterically, uh, funny, happy, like that. And now I can, also, I can also move this box, I can do whatever I want here. Um, the thing now to understand is, and, and this is um, maybe still a bit complicated, um, the, this, the timeline here is the input to the neural network. The images that are actually being rendered are still there. Um, but if you render now from this cursor, it will delete the images that are um, have been rendered behind the cursor okay so you can change the prompts here as much as I want as you want it will not affect the images that are actually there at the moment it will only affect them once you start rendering again and then the images are behind the cursor will be deleted and new images will be rendered with these current settings cool okay we're done cool we can see the whole video here we can see that he starts laughing now here. 
very nice frenetically. If we don't like like the way it looks, we can go back and increase the strength maybe, then the images will become higher quality. I could have also put uh, something like high quality here and also something like low res here or something, then the, the quality of the digital art will actually be look different. This requires a bit of training, the, the prompting, I have to admit, but we try to make it as easy as possible to you also with this pimp my prompt uh, button that actually puts the standard terms in there also very often. Now we're happy, we can export the video, we say Nico Hippie, and here we go. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, have fun with Neural Frames.